What's up everybody and welcome back to some more Fallout 3. Today we are going to be going right into the uh, final mission for the main story, but then we are going to do the DLC and some other missions after the fact. Um, I do have Broken Steel installed, so I think as far as I remember or, or know, like technically the main story would just end and then that's it, you'd have to reload. But with Broken Steel, DLC, you're able to continue on after it and then also do a new storyline that continues it and gives a new ending, I, I think it is. Um, so that's the plan. We're just about level 20 or almost level 20. We've done a ton of side missions. We finally got two companions. We got Fox. We got dog meat. Uh, I have did a decent amount. That, I mean, not a ton, but a decent amount of exploration. I'm sure there's places we can still visit. There's still tons of for us to do anything that we come across or that interests me we'll definitely do as well but um yeah we're gonna kind of focus just the main story for right now once we finish that we'll do any dlcs as well um but as always if you guys enjoy it leaving a like on the youtube vod or live stream makes a huge difference we'll see if we hit that 20 like goal i've been absolutely loving playing fallout 3 and it's been a lot of fun uh with chat so kind of why we're doing three streams back to back uh, it's just been a solid time lately so let's get in here let's uh get this started say what's up to chat and then uh oh wrong way that's the exit whoops whoopsie is it wednesday yet <laughs> not yet don't worry there's uh we got plenty of uh baldur's gate to do on wednesday Yo, what's up, old school? Hello, hello, welcome back. We are here. Yeah, sorry, I'm a little bit, uh, well, I'm technically right on time, but went out. It's such a nice day today, so we went and got some ice cream, which is nice. And then uh, came back, and here we are. So, uh, let me just check this. All right, cool. Let me do a, a final save talk to sentinel lions are you ready now we can't afford to keep standing around like this i'm ready i'm all ready okay don't be nervous you'll have the whole pride backing you up not to mention this giant tin can just stay safe until we reach the purifier you're no good to us if you're dead and don't let that thing step on you oh okay oh man we're going to go over it one more time the pride is on me the goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields. <laughs> giant tin can time. Rothschild and Lee say exactly. this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure <laughs> the control room. It's getting pushed down the steps. We need to move quickly before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out. All right, let's do it. I remember this being so epic back in the day. So epic. Oh, Fox is in the way. <laughs> Follow Liberty Prime as he makes his way to the purifier. Alright, Fox, you're always getting in the way, man. Come on, let's move. Let's move. Come on, you can do it. My man is still staring up. Yo, what's up, Interloper? This is broken steel not yet this is the, this is the final mission of the main story uh and then we'll be doing the dlcs afterwards so we're still in the base when you finish broken steel does it let you still continue like doing missions after that too or does it end Oh boy. Here we go. Jesus. 
You can continue after? Okay, cool. Nice. Oh, I can't even see all the way. <laughs> This is one epic way to get started. God, don't step on me. Not like this. What's up? What's up, bad? Hello, hello. Obstruction detected. Composition. Titanium alloy supplemented by photonic resonance barrier. Probability of mission entrance. Zero. I tested out and uh, I got Fallout New Vegas working earlier today. Communism is a temporary setback on the road to freedom. So that's ready to go once we finish oh. up here. Communism is the very definition of failure. Do you play all the DLCs? Not yet. Um, I did do Operation Anchorage and we'll do the other ones after we finish this. I think I will do most of the DLCs. What brand of protein powder? Uh, I usually use, there's either, uh, what is it? Muscle something. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It's, called, it's like MP and also optimum nutrition. No, not Muscle Tech. It's like MP. Muscle Farm, I think it is. And Optimum Nutrition. Those those two are pretty good. Alright, we're getting hit so far. <laughs> Oh, is that just the Enclave? Dude, these bombs going off right now is intense. Yeah, it is the Enclave. Oh boy. I'm trying to keep up with it. Iron Giant's stepbrother. <laughs> True. Honestly, this mission was like next level for its time though. It was so cool. Love how he throws a nuke like it's a football. True. Right? I saw somebody posted like a clip of Fallout 4 earlier today or 76. And uh, they had they had the same thing. They they threw a mini nuke just like that. <laughs> Significant obstruction detected. Composition. Yeah, the, the way one. Bad. Yep. Established strategy. Inadequate. Oh. Revised strategy. Move there. Damn. Project Impurity. Reach the Project Purity control room. Infect the Project Purity water supply or not. Alright, we're going in. Dad would be so proud. Yes, he would. He's so happy. We finally made it. Let's get rid of these guys first. Ah. 
Give me the XP. Yo, what's up, Cold Blue? Code Blue? How's it going? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Shoot. Whoa. That's a different helmet. <laughs> Sheesh. All right, we're going in. I don't know. Maybe they just keep on coming. I'm going in. Sentinel Lions is still following us. All right, let me see what we got here. Prepare that. My number three. My number one. Oh. I'm going to use a buff out. I haven't used any, like, meds or anything in such a long time at this point. Oh. Huh. Come on. Takes a second to catch up. Have you ever played Fallout and want to start? What game should I play first? I would definitely, uh, I would say play whichever one you think looks the most interesting. If you want to go release order, then three is, is still a, a great point to start. You can always go back though. Just realize that obviously it's going to be a, a little rough. You could also just go with the one that ever, most people I say would be their favor, which is New Vegas. Can't really go wrong with that either. Um, but they all have their own storylines. They all have their own, uh, it's just like factions and stuff like that, that overlap. There really is no right or wrong answer, but I, I think starting at three is, is great too. I wouldn't have come back to three because I, it's the one that I haven't played for the longest time. It it almost feels like you completely again. fresh. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. Wow, we're going right into it. Give up, bottom. You've lost. I beg to differ. The Enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational. The masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. You sure about that? Ooh. Raymond Rock is gone. Eden checked out. You've got nothing left. Are you doing this? So I give your allegiance to a machine. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, so we convinced Eden to blow up the entire, or the, uh, the AI president of the Enclave to blow up the base. So, let's see how he reacts to that. The American people are worth fighting for. The future must be secured. I won't let you stand in the way of that. This isn't the way you want to do it. More fighting will just make things worse. And what would you have me do? Let you have everything I've worked to build? Let you destroy it all? Just walk away. It's not too late. And you? You would just let me leave? How can I be sure you won't just shoot me once I turn my back on you? I suppose it doesn't matter much now. Very well. I shall leave you to your fate. Damn. Just like that. Get out of here, Autumn. Get out of here. Oh, there goes the Enclave soldiers, too. Speech 100, man. Paying off right there. All right. No, I'm not going to insert the virus. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't deserve to live, but you know what? Somebody else will get him. Where is uh the paladin? Is she How do I get in here? 
Requires key. I'm not gonna put the virus in. Is she coming? The door is locked shut behind you. What? What do I do? Oh, airlock control? I'm activating it. It's not doing anything though. You have the Broken Steel DLC? Yeah, we do. Oh no. Game, hello? You have something to say? Fox, you're kind of in the way right now. All right, let me see if I... I'm just going to save right here and then load. I guess I should oh, be there surprised we go. that you just let him walk away. It's amazing the world hasn't beaten that out of you. You just better hope it doesn't come back to bite you. Now let's get this place locked down. Yep, that worked. Dr. Lee, Hello, it's Sarah Lyons. I'm in the control room. Dr. Lee, We're both here. What's going on? I've been monitoring the equipment oh, remotely, an and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental. Some of it may have been sabotage. <sighs> There's pressure building up in the holding tank. My last playthrough, Fox had me pinned in the Megaton house. Explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be that, I had the now. same thing. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out. You know? Hey. So, what should we do? Draw straws? Listen. Well, Fox can start the purifier. There must be another way. I'll do it. I'll start the purifier. You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't Wait. have much time. I won't forget what you've done here. Wait. No one will. Wait. Thank you. Wait, Fox literally could, right? Oh, he couldn't do it anyways. I'm going in. Don't forget me. Don't forget me. Oh, shit. Wait, what am I supposed to press? Oh, no. Zero six two four. I, d I don't know what it is. It's like 216. Okay, it is 216. Got it. Chat, we did it. Together. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place. But the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, mm. sacrifice. 
Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. Yeah, it keeps talking like it's the last sentence. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. But it's not over yet. Not just yet. Two weeks later. After all this, to be left in a state like that? Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine. You're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. Ooh. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Where's Sarah? Is she okay? Yeah, what's... Uh... Yeah, so if you didn't have the Broken Steel DLC, it would just end right there. But now, since we have the DLC, we can continue on. And you wake up two weeks later. What, uh, yeah, where's Sarah? Is she okay? Yes, yes. She's fine. Oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. What's going on? It's all right, you're safe now. You're in the Citadel. There was some sort of energy spike as the purifier started. And apparent, you uh, and Sarah were knocked unconscious and brought here to the infirmary. We've been watching over the two of you for days. I'm glad to see it's paid off. Hold on, so apparently TikTok is saying my live visibility is restricted because it's uh, reproduced content, supposedly. So let me just appeal real quick. That's interesting. What about the purifier? Did it work? Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, Classic. clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the Wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. So, did, did we win? Did we beat the Enclave? Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. How long was... Uh, well, we know it's two weeks, but... So what happens now? Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride hmm. has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Uh, is there any way I can help? Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. 
Oh. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal. But the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. Okay. Yeah, see, like, this version of the Brotherhood of Steel are, like, actually kind of nice and, like, caring in a way. But the other versions are... I mean, that they're not flawless, but... But, yeah, where's Sarah? She's right here. Unresponsive, but stable. To see that you've recovered gives me hope. Can you tell me about the outcasts? The outcasts are a result of my greatest mistake, but a mistake I'm proud of nonetheless. When I came here, I realized for the first time that the Brotherhood's technology could truly save the survivors in this wasteland. <laughs> I chose to help them, even if it meant putting the Brotherhood's interests at risk. Some of my soldiers called me a hero. Others called me a traitor. The dissenters left my mm. command, calling themselves outcasts to mock me. I cannot fault their dedication, even if I find them lacking in compassion. Yo, thank you for the follow there, Inter Interloper. Appreciate that. Mother Zeta, uh, Mothership Zeta is mind blowing. Yeah, I kind of, I like lightly remember it. But it's definitely on my list. Like, I do want to actually focus the DLCs now. Because we kind of wrapped this game up fast, way faster than I was expecting to. At least the main story aspect of things. But now, like, once we kind of do this, um, I definitely want to go through all the, the DLCs before we move on to um, New Vegas. Which I think is a... Which will be good. They really are so good, in my opinion. Yeah, that's... I, some of them, I, I don't know if I've played them all, but uh, I've heard, I, I've seen some people say they love the pit. I've seen other people say they love Operation Anchorage, which I did do that one already. Uh, Mothership, I, I remember a little bit, but I don't know if I really did it. I remember seeing like videos and stuff, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get to them. Thought the protection of humanity was a part of the Brotherhood's Oath. Only in a very broad sense. The Brotherhood's oaths are to protect humanity's progress, but not necessarily every human. The mm. outcasts and members of the Brotherhood in other places consider it a waste to protect most people. After all, they say, everyone knows how to make another human, but the secrets to making a P-94 plasma rifle are all but lost. Oh yeah, Point Lookout too. That was a, uh, that's one too. I've seen a lot. All right, that's enough about the outcasts. Yes, let's. Um, Elder Lions. We should talk about the super mutants. Oh, have you learned something? The super mutants are coming from Vault 87. It's their breeding ground. Vault 87? Where you found the Gek? We've never been able to penetrate the radiation surrounding that area. This information is invaluable. Well done. Oh, we got good karma for that. Okay. That's kind of cool. So what's going on with the purifier? The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. Alright, roger that. Um, what else can you tell me about the fight against the Enclave? As you know, I had my reservations about engaging the Enclave. They did not directly attack us, and I believed we had time. Time to be cautious. Their assault on the purifier forced our hand. We had no choice but to engage them directly. Damn. And once that engagement was begun, we could do nothing but see it through to the end. If they had not considered us a threat before, they do now. So we have spent the time since you and I last spoke 
systematically locating and destroying every bastion of Enclave force we can. Liberty Prime has proven far more successful than any of us could have hoped for. Okay. Uh, I gotta go. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. Level 20. Nice. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's bump, uh, we can bump energy weapons up a decent amount. 65. Uh, same thing with lockpick. Bump it to like 75. And then, yeah, let's, oh man. We actually, I'm gonna try to get it repaired to 100, to be honest. Yeah, let's do that. Boom. Then, let me see. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do one final point here. Agility. I wouldn't mind having one more agility, to be honest. One more luck would be kind of nice too. Or I could go strength. So I think it, if I'm correct, as long as the number is seven or higher, you can use it in conversations. Which I kind of learned that later on. But uh, and we'll we'll do. Man, I'm like 50/50 on agility or luck. Critical hit chance. Let's do agility. All right. No more. Um, I'm not going to use special training for anything else. Oh, Sentinel Lions. Did you see her? She's passed out, though. Presence detected. This unit has activated. Hail. Okay. Well, we're alive. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that you, like, in the base game, you just kind of die. <laughs> and you just, you're stuck with reloading the game. So is death from the, should I do broken steel first or should I do a different one? Yo, what's up, Black G? Welcome. I don't know which one I should do. Uh, I guess I could do broken steel first and then continue on and do the other DLCs. It's really up to you. All right, yeah, we'll do we'll do broken steel then. See where it goes. Well, it's good to see that you're on your feet again. Thank you. I assume Lyons is immediately throwing you to the wolves. Has he told you what's been going on while you've been resting? I learned a little bit, but was hoping you could tell me more. Yes. I believe I can. Step over here for a moment, will you? Sure. Oh, 10 feet. I'll give you a brief history of oh, what's cool. happened over the last few weeks and what's going on now. As you well history know, lesson. This all began with the Enclave's occupation of Project Purity here. Thanks to you, their main headquarters here was yep. utterly destroyed. Raven Rock. They then suffered a second defeat at the Purifier. Based on a combination of intelligence and field reports, other Enclave locations throughout the Wasteland were found. Cut off from their leadership, it was expected that their forces would be in complete disarray. This has not been the case. Mm. Based on data and tech gathered from these locations, we've determined that the Enclave forces are still maintaining remote communications. We isolated the transmissions and found their origin point. An old military installation in Rockland, to the southwest. Our advanced scouts have okay. checked over the area, but no easy access to the facility was found. So we're making our own access point. Paladin Tristan is leading the team setting up forward base in an old car tunnel near the site. Once he's settled, Liberty Prime will be deployed. Prime's directive is to neutralize their defenses and create an entry point for the team. The team will move in, eliminate any opposition inside, and cut off their transmitter. Any relevant data should be brought back here. 
Now, did you have any other questions? Uh, there's so many things I could ask. Okay. If there's anything else you'd like to know, I'll tell you what I can. Otherwise, Paladin Tristan will be waiting. I'll alert him that you're on your way. Okay. How is Liberty Prime holding up? Performance is exceeding all our expectations. He's been especially effective against the Enclave's vertebrates, for which we previously had no counter. Damn. We are fine yeah, we did kind of see him as we blow go, them up. But on the whole, <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised. It's as I always suspected. Prime's real issue was energy management. And when Dr. Wait. Lee helped us solve that problem, well... <laughs> Is the, uh, the, rest was the pit easy. DLC set in a different location? Um, I think you could repair my armor or my could equipment. I? Yes. Will I? No. Oh, it is set in go Pittsburgh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Don't. Gotta go. You take a train to Pittsburgh. Huh. That's sick. I always remember um, there's like one character from, I think there's one character from 76 that is from Philadelphia originally. But I always thought that was kind of cool running into them. Uh, all right, let's see. Yeah, it's all the way out there, really? Death from above into the pit. Sail to Massachusetts or Maryland. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's so far away. Oh, where's uh Yeah, where'd my companions go? So did Let me guess, they're over at Vault 101. Where'd they go? Or maybe they're at my house? In Megaton? Yeah, I'm not sure where Fox or, uh... Good evening, sir! Wadsworth! What can I do for you? Uh, tell me a joke. Ah, do you know the best contraceptive for old people is nudity? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the same one you told me last time. Alright, please. He always goes right there. All right, we're going to sleep until 9 a.m. How may I serve you, master? Oh, she's running to me to give me something. Here. Yep. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. Thank you. Nuka Cola. Yeah, where did where did dog meat go? Where'd they go? I lost dog meat and I lost fox. Are they dead? Are they gone? Oh, they're over at the citadel. Are they? I'll try to go find them. That's not you. Hey, what's up, Doki? How's it going? Yeah, chat, by the way, by the way, my Twitch is cast as plays TV and then YouTube is cast as plays. We'll probably have to restart uh, TikTok in a little bit here. Are they in the room that I uh, woke up in? All 
Um, who's this? Paladin Cross. Good to see you. Knew my father. Oh I yeah, did. she's another and companion you, you well. can get. Long ago, I helped guard the water purifier against the super mutant horde. When your father left, I escorted the two of you to Megaton. He was a noble man. I was saddened to hear of his passing. But from what I've heard, he died with honor. He died for you. I only pray that my own death has such meaning. I loved him so much. I'll never forget him. And so our deeds are carried on through our sons and our daughters. <laughs> continue to remember him fondly. Continue to tell his story. And continue to do his work. Through you, he shall carry on. But now I must ask you a difficult question. If I have your leave to do so. Uh, sure. Should you come with me? I escorted your father across the wastes. It was the best I could contribute to his efforts to restore fresh water to the people. I would like to have the honor of escorting you in your journey to complete his work. But there is a problem. I cannot travel with you under the Brotherhood flag, given your current companionship. Huh? Perhaps return when you are alone, and I will tell you of your father. Wait, what? You can only have one follower at a time? All right, got to go. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, maybe it's bugged again. Can we try saving and then loading that? Well, let's call it underwhelming. I think he's somewhere in a room with sawbones. So far, I haven't been able to salvage a cellulator unit from the parts that we have. Wait, this is a yeah, mess hall. All right. Chad, if you're watching on TikTok, I'm going to refresh it real quick. So we'll be back in like two minutes here. Um, let me just check this. All right, cool. Yeah, we just got to. Oh, it doesn't show up for some reason. All right. We'll be back in like 30 seconds. Yeah, that's uh, that's the first time I saw that error. Tonight we got like a message. I was like, this is unoriginal content or redistributed. Saying that it's like a pre-recording. That's the first time. That's interesting. All right. Should be good now. Let me just fix this. All right, thanks for stopping by, Doki. Appreciate it. All right, cool. In the B ring. Try going up that way. Um, wait, what is this? Aqua Pura? Whoa. It gives a lot of free HP there. A ring. Here we go. Yo, welcome back, old school. Yeah, I don't know what would happen with TikTok. That's so weird, though. Oh, shoot. Oops. I was following the objective there. Never seen that error though. Need something, friend? Need something, friend? Where the hell is this? Oh, the purifiers of it. Okay. That's for like actually from the uh, the purifier. That's kind of cool. Oh, where the hell is this? So I went ahead and handled it for you. What was the result of the library? There's been another behemoth sighted in the wasteland. Courtyard, lab, armory. Try going down here. Is 
this is where I just came from? It is. I'm so lost. The den? It's got to be the medical room. I don't remember where the medical room is, though. Barracks? This is B-Ring. Oh, here they are. Guys, come on, boy. Good boy, dog meat. Alright, bye. I had hoped you'd return. What now? All right, let's get going. With all due haste. Let's go. There we go. Yeah, it took a second to find them. Jeez. Okay. Back out we go. Um, I guess we'll just start doing this then death from above Th that is the um the broken steel storyline is it oh damn search the raider Oh no, not another hey. one. <laughs> it's a little too late for you. I'm so sorry. Ma'am, stop. Oh wait, is she not gonna blow up because I killed the raiders? Oh no, she's gonna get herself killed. <laughs> Ma'am, why'd you do that? Well, I might as well check to see if she's got any loot. Oh my god, attempt to disarm. You failed to disarm it. Okie dokie. Well. I guess we'll keep it moving then. He was dead anyways. That's kind of funny because somebody else ran up to me doing the same thing. Uh, yeah, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday. They ran up and they said that they had uh, something attached to them, but I couldn't do anything. So, or well, I tried to disarm it and they ended up blowing up. Mods? No, it's it's pretty much a vanilla playthrough right now. Uh, the only thing I installed was like the script extender to be able to run the game in borderless mode. That's about it, though. Oh, this is Ten Penny Tower. Please, please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. This whole time, I I've had multiple mentions of Ten Penny Tower, and I've never gone there. Got some aqua pure if you want it. You, you are, are you serious? I can't offer anything in exchange, you know. I, I yeah, I'm just, I'm just playing on on PC free? right now. I insist, my friend. It's the least I can do to help. Really? Thank you. You're the first person willing to actually give me any of that. Some good karma. Tell Tenpenny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. I can stand here all day yelling at you. Through this damn speaker at Yeah, if there, I mean, if there's some quests that interest me and stuff, I don't mind doing them. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. I don't think threatening them is going to really help. What are you looking at? I'm really not in the mood, so leave me alone. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Oh. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps. And I don't want the goddamn headache. 
It's a whole new lore. It's good. Get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. I'm not. Is that how you treat all your guests? What? No, just those damn ghouls. Sorry, thought you were one of them. Ghoul or not, I must inform you that you are trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Renders an official business only. Hmm. Okay. Yo, what's up, Naruto fan? Yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. We've been playing it uh, for the last few days. I mean, I've, I've done three streams back to back of this. Now, we are going to be taking a little bit of a break for Fallout the next two streams. But we might be back to it um, later this week. And definitely the weekend, too. Uh, I can help take care of that little... Uh, actually, I'm here to see Tenpenny. <laughs> That's rich. What would a man like Tenpenny want to do with a waste rat like you? I have a lucrative offer for Tenpenny. Let me in or you'll come to regret it. Just a minute. Let's not be hasty. Oh. If Tenpenny is interested in what you have to say, I suppose you should get your chance. Though he normally conducts all his business through Mr. Burke. If Tenpenny doesn't want to talk to you, then you best leave him alone. Yeah, that's if you fair. Offer Mr. Tenpenny or any of his residents, I will be very glad to forcibly show you out. Do we that's understand fine. each other? Yep, Good. yep. Yo, thank you for the sub there. Thank you very much. Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. What's up, Zachary? Don't do anything stupid. All right, I'll be good. Don't worry. All right, let's go inside. Wow, this is a nice place. Uh, hello there. I would surely have perished if it wasn't for Mr. Tenpenny and his tower. Okay. Hey there. Hey there. Hello. Susan. Well, well, what have we here? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Susan Lancaster. Perhaps Ooh. we can become better acquainted in the near future. Oh, yeah? That, um, you bet. I like, I like meeting new people. Me too. Especially rich, fine, young men. Mm. <laughs> Listen, you look like you can handle yourself. You survived out there in the wasteland getting here, after all. You ever have to deal with ghouls? I'm no stranger to violence if that's where you're getting at. You're exactly the kind of man we need around here. Oh. Chief Gustavo and his pack of goons aren't doing their job. Those ghouls keep coming back. Somebody's bound to get hurt sooner or later. Uh, those ghouls sure have people worked up, don't they? Are you going to do something about the problem or not? Uh, yeah, I'll take care of those ghouls. Stop worrying about it. You're something else. Not like these other losers. What's it like living at Ten Penny Tower? Beats living out there in the wasteland, trust me. See, I'm not like these other puffed-up fogies. I earned my way into privilege. I worked to get here. Oh, I'm sure you did, ma'am. I am sure you did. Gotta go. Later then. I'm sure she worked real hard to get in here. Cafe, uh, Bu... What is that? Beaumont? Beaumont? Herbert Daring Dashwood. Margaret Primrose. A bunch of boomers in here. All right, let's talk to Margaret. You're new around here. I'm Margaret Primrose. I run the Cafe Beaumont. Stop by sometime. Oh, thanks. Uh, tell me about Alistair Tenpenny. Every day, it's the same thing. The man has no imagination with his meals. But it's his building, so every day I make that damned iguano bit sandwich, no salt, with a peeled pear on the side. Send it up to the penthouse. Okay. Those ghouls have you stressed out too? 
Chief Gustavo assures us that he's increased the number of the security team and will kill any zombies on site. Whoa. I, I wonder if ghouls will like your cooking. I hope I don't have to find out, though. Everyone loves my cooking. <laughs> okay. What about you? Herbert Dashwood. Damn glad to meet you. Call me Daring. Everyone else does. All right, Daring. But you had to earn that nickname, huh? Maybe you've heard the GNR radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That's about me, you know. Based on oh. my, um, earlier days. I even had a ghoul man Yeah, I'm, I'm playing it on PC right you. now. You ever met a ghoul before? I know some people have had issues running it, but uh, personally, when I ran it, it's, it started fine. I have had some crashes here and there, but it's been good for the last few days. <laughs> Only thing I like less than ghouls, old geezers giving me orders. <laughs> sure, I've met some ghouls. They're just people trying to get by. Ah, you already learned some wisdom in your youth. Congratulations. Oh, okay. I bet you know a two or a two or thing uh, ugh, a thing or two about those ghouls. Some ghouls moved into the nearby metro tunnel. There's a bunch of the so-called feral ghouls in there, but a handful seem the sociable type. Oh, I've wow. tried explaining so nice. to my fellow tenants that not all ghouls are monsters, but they don't seem to care. The intelligent ones should stay away from our trigger happy protectors. If there are enough feral ones, though, eh, they could overwhelm security. I can take care of the ghoul situation, no problem. Aha! An adventurous soul like myself. If I wasn't retired, I might come with you myself. Oh, Herbert. All right. <laughs> I gotta go. Don't forget to have a little fun out there. Okay, he's, he's actually kind of nice. He recognized that ghouls are people too, so maybe he ain't that all that bad. Alright, Lydia. Welcome to Boutique La Chic. I'm Lydia Montenegro, proprietor. Here you'll find only the best, with a price mm. tag you can boast about to your friends. How do you put it on full screen? Uh, unfortunately for TikTok, it's only vertical mode until they bring back uh, compatibility, but... I'm also on uh, YouTube and Twitch. Right now, YouTube is cast displays and Twitch is cast displays TV. If you want the full screen there. Nice place you got here. Your taste in shopping venue is impeccable. How may I assist you? Oh. Wow, everybody really likes compliments here. Uh, are you afraid of the ghouls trying to get into Tenpenny? If they got in here... They'd get their filth over everything. You can smell them a mile away. Has the list. Thanks for the follow. By security. I can handle the ghouls. Really? Perhaps you can. We'd all I'm be just going around grateful. telling everyone I can handle them. Chief Gustavo will want to know you're willing to help. All right. Tell me about Alistair. He stays in his penthouse suite most of the time. So long as we pay the rent, he lets us live here. All fox flash across the screen. Yeah, he's uh he's hanging around here somewhere, right there. Always he's always getting in the way. Good to see you. Every time. Okay. Hello, Doctor Banfield. Never played a Fallout game before. Which one do you recommend starting with? It's a very, it's probably one of the more common questions. Um, honestly, whichever one you think looks the most interesting, there is no right or wrong answer. If you want to start with like a, an older one and then go in release order, three isn't a, uh, a bad starting point. If you want to start with the newer, I mean, playing four is fine as well. 76, if you want something co-op with friends. Uh, but I would honestly recommend playing like Green New Vegas or hey. or before 76. So that way you can get a feel for like the story games before going into 76. Welcome to new urban apparel. I carry the finest in pre-war clothes. Hurry up. Let's get you out of those old rags and into something fabulous. Fabulous. 
You really think you can improve my look? With my fashion sense and your bottle caps, there is no limit to what we can do for your image. I can't wait to get started. Do you recommend playing chronologically? Yeah, I would, I would say so. I think three holds up amazingly. Like, as long as you can get it to run good, whether you're on PC or if you're on console too, I, I think it it's a great game to start with. Um, but yeah. Same thing with New Vegas too. I mean, both of them are, are very good games. Uh, I'd like to do bit. You know what? Let's see. What's he got? I only... There's a bunch of clothing and stuff. Pre-war bonnet, casual wear, spring outfit, stim. He's got some stim packs. Ta -ta. Yeah, once I finish like hey. three and all the DLCs, we will be moving on to uh, New Vegas. And then once we finish Good New Vegas, you. we'll be moving on Good to... to uh, Fallout 4. It's going to be over time. It's not going to be like back to back to back. But I'm definitely going to plan on playing all of them. I got, I tested out New Vegas today and got it running in borderless mode, um, which is how I typically play my games. So that's, that worked out pretty good. All right, let's go find uh, Gustavo or... Whoever it is, we need to. Is this is this his room? Oh yeah, it is. There are times that I leave the primal part pulling me away. Oh wait. Ah. Oh. Hey. Hey. Or where the hell is this guy? Well, <laughs> Alright, let me save for a second. I'm on duty, can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo. Ah. Okay. Edgar. Uh, hello. Charmed, I'm sure. Millicent. Edgar Wellington II. Have you met my wife, Millicent? I have not. Hold on. Who let you in here? What do you mean? I. <laughs> Say nothing. Don't worry. I was let in at the front gate. <laughs> Very well. As long as security is aware of your presence. Can't be too careful these days. What with these ghouls and all. That's Gustavo fair. says he has the situation well in order, but I wonder if he's really trying. Don't suppose you ran into any ghouls on your way in here? Um. I don't consider ghouls to be a problem, if that's what you're asking. Then you obviously don't know anything about ghouls. Yo, what's up, Argent? Uh, thanks for the follow there. Which mods are you playing with? Right now, I'm I'm actually playing vanilla. Uh, I just have the game bumped up the highest uh, settings. And then I the only thing that I installed was uh, one tweak, which lets you play the game in uh, borderless mode. That's pretty much it. That's about all I did. Have you visited any vaults? Yeah, we went to Vault 87 and 106. I think those were like the two main ones. All right, gotta go. Oh, this is the doctor's room. Security guard. I'm not here for your entertainment. Bro, where the hell is this guy? Is he upstairs? Oh, wait. Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. I'm here to see Tenpenny, but if you weren't so incompetent, you know that. Hold on there a minute. Oh, all right, I'll let you in. But if Tenpenny hollers because he isn't expecting you, you're dead. Uh oh. Ah, oh, shit. 
Uh, Mr. Tenpenny. Sorry to intrude. Oh, that's outside. Wait, what the hell? Wait, is it that way? Oh, it's this way. Sir? Hello, sir. Wait, what? Maybe it is that way. What? Oh, he's out here. Yo. Hello, hello. I can't stop to chat just now. Fancy that. A visitor. I seldom get visitors, which is a tiresome visitor. shame. Because I'm usually relentlessly bored out of my right mind. All of these confounded people fluster about like I'm made of eggshells and about to fall to pieces in any moment. I'm surprised they even let you in. So, what do you think of my fine tower here? It's quite the jewel of the wasteland, isn't it? I dare say I'm quite proud of it myself. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty impressive, sure. Right oh, when I saw this right place jutting up out of the horizon, I knew what I had to do. I hired some muscle, and we got this place fixed up right quick. I had the great fortune to run into Mr. Burke, an absolute gem of a man. He certainly has a way of getting done what needs to get done, doesn't he? Then it was a matter he of does. getting the right type of tenants with the right type of assets, and the rest is, as they say, history. History. Uh, what tower you got here, Mr. Tenpenny? Some might say Tenpenny Tower is my crowning achievement, but no. No, no, my dear boy, it is just the beginning. Oh, yeah? Tell me about yourself. Oh, it's impolite for a gentleman to talk about himself, but I'd hope this magnificent tower would speak volumes. Gotta go. Cheerio. Cheerio. Okay, I guess he's not really the one we needed to talk to. You watch yourself. You caused any more trouble, and you'll be dead. Did I cause any trouble so far? I didn't even do anything, man. Oh. Can I help you? Where's um Gustavo? Mr. Gustavo. See downstairs. You save again here. How's your game going today? It's going pretty good so far. Oh wait, that is Mr. <laughs> Gustavo. Good to see you. You got yeah. something to say? I do actually. Uh, how's that ghoul situation coming along? That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Oh, Keep showing Roy. up, looking for a handout. Keenest kind aren't wanted. End of story. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent soon. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. Hmm. But I can't spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits. Or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all. Oh, yeah? Perhaps the re residents could be persuaded to live here? Have you, yeah, have you ever tried talking to the ghouls? I bet you can work something out. Tenpenny doesn't care how big their pile of bottle caps is. He won't let ghouls live here. Those ghouls need to give up and go bother someone else. Well, I tend to be pretty <laughs> true. <laughs> I tend to be uh, pretty persuasive, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, ghouls, whatever. It's not really any. You're all bigots. Your bleeding heart is liable to get you in a lot of trouble one day. <laughs> Look, kid. Eventually, all ghouls go zombie on your ass. It's only a matter of time. Kill them when you find them. It's a win-win. You put them out of their misery and save someone else from getting torn apart. Yeah, and what about, what if I bring them all here and we just take the place ourselves? How about that? I'm going to find a non-violent solution to your ghoul problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that.
<laughs> Yo, cozy black cat energy. Thank you for the sub there. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks for the tier one. Yeah, you guys have been killing it the last few days. Um, really, thank you. That's a laugh. Roy Phillips can't be reasoned with. Trust me. But go ahead and try and talk some sense into him. It's your funeral. They've holed okay. up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. They've barred the main entrance. Go through the train yard. Good luck, kid. You're gonna need it. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested with this. So we'll, we'll definitely do it. Uh, what's it like living here? Ten Penny is always on time with the money. And we can get fairly comfortable digs with side benefits. Oh, yeah? Tell me about Alistair. He owns this building. We get our caps from him. And don't you forget it. You're gonna help with the gold problem. Where are they hiding? Yeah, I think he, j really? he just told me, but you, you're welcome to give it a try. Hey, you're good, cabin boy. Don't come crying to me when you get hurt. Yeah, we'll be on for a They've bit. Hold up tonight. In the nearby metro. Got like tunnels. two hours left. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. Be careful. Roy seems damn close to turning zombie himself. I suppose mm. he won't be doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Hmm. How's 500 bottle caps sound? Payable upon termination of that damn ghoul, Roy Phillips, and all his followers. What? <laughs> you want this problem solved or not? You can spare more than that. Well, maybe you're right. It was something I was going to have to do eventually anyway. How about another 200 caps? Oh, well, can we and do here, another? You can take this rifle Damn. and ammo. But you better not screw this up. Roy Phillips and his gang are somewhere in Warrington Station Metro Tunnels. They've barred the main entrance. Uh -oh. Try going through the train yard. Hopefully I didn't get myself in trouble. But I guess we'll see. I'm still going to find a non-violent way to solve this problem. That's a laugh. Roy Phillips can't be reasoned with. Trust me. But go ahead and try and talk some sense into him. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghoul. Good. Okay. All right, gotta go. So we got a quest for that, and the quest just gives me go kill them. But I'm gonna try to go go talk to them. That's weird I got a quest for that one, but I didn't get it for the other one. How far? Okay, nice. They're not far out at all. Do graphics updated? No, this is just the uh, vanilla. A lot of people have been asking if it's, if it's modded or anything, but no. I'm just playing on PC. How do I get out of here? I'm on duty. Can't talk. Direct your security concerns to. Can you Scott. can you let me out, sir? Or am I allowed to leave? You're running at 1080. No, I'm running at 1440. Uh, the only thing that I did install was a mod to let me run it in uh, in borderless mode and 1440p. Um, that's a mod called One Tweak, but that's the only thing. Uh, I don't know how to leave. I may wait for 11 hours. We have to go around the corner. Go out like a different way. What is this? Oh, there's metro access. Crash bin. I'm not. 
not here for your entertainment. Okay. Bro, how am I supposed to get out of here? Hello? I'm on duty, can't talk. Will you let me leave? Concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I had to walk up and press the intercom to open the door. Okay. Actually, real quick before we do this, uh, I'm going to grab a drink real fast. So give me like 30 seconds, chat. It's literally at the bottom of the steps, and then I'll be good to go. So I'll be right back. I'm back. Edgar, that Mr. Burke is a shady character, isn't he? I've heard some positively awful things about him. Chat, thank you for all the likes so far. Whatever platform you're watching on, I appreciate it. We'll see if we hit the uh, the 20 like goal on the uh, good old YouTube stream as well. All right, let's see what we got over here. Yeah, just as a, a heads up chat, I will be streaming tomorrow, but we won't be playing Fallout. We're gonna be playing Crime Boss, which is getting a new update. Uh, it's pretty much made by the same people that originally published Payday. So I kind of want to see what that's like. And then, uh, Wednesday, we'll be playing Baldur's Gate for Walder's Gate Wednesday. And then we'll probably be back to this Thursday. Game's over. And then the weekend. What's up, Jonah? Well, we might make it in time to, uh, to get New Vegas started this weekend. We'll see. See how things go. We got some radiation. Hey, I appreciate it, Jonah. It's so nice having companions now. They do like 95% of the work at this point. Well, actually, I don't know. 95 is a little high, to be fair. 95 is a little too high. They do like 25%. You know, I, I still do a lot. Nice, the leather belt. Yeah. Oh. What's up, Bar Barracuda? Yeah, the, the only mod I have installed is one to let me run the game in borderless mode. That's about it. What's your favorite Fallout? 
Um, I probably still go with New Vegas. It's the one that I've played the most. I need another weapon that's... I'm out of uh, assault rifle ammo. Could use the shotgun hunting rifle. Man, I haven't used the hunting rifle in forever. Sniper rifle, too. Adios. I really did forget how much I love Vats. Vats is so freaking good. Man. I think when we start New Vegas, I'm probably going to do uh, a lot of points into... Uh, a lot of points definitely into speech again, because I, I love being able to talk enemies out of things or convince them to work for me or whatever the case may be. Um, but then I'm definitely going to put some stuff into vats too. Oh God. Oh no, he's hurting dog meat. Got a critical strike on dog meat. I'm so sorry. What's your opinion on the, uh, have you found that terrible shotgun before? No, I, I don't think so. Or at least not during this one. Um, I'm not gonna, like, talk about what happens, but I am very, 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 very excited for, uh, potential season two. For, uh, for the Fallout show. Very, very excited. Very, very <laughs> excited. I don't know if I said it, but very. Yeah, if it does well. I think it, as long as they kind of do what they did for the first season again, but just, you know, do it again, I think it could be well or do great. You there. Put your weapons away. Come over here. No funny business, unless you want to get shot. Hey, I just want to chat. I just want to chat. What are you doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. What's up, Anonymous? I'm here to see Roy Phillips. Oh, yeah? Is he expecting you? Well, then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. There's a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. I just want to have a chat, man. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm not saying that one. So tell me, what's it like being a ghoul? I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn it's scientist. Like this. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Sure, sacrifices were required. Some people got hurt. But we were making real progress. And those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. Damn. What are you doing in the metro tunnels? I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. Believe it or not, I used to vacation there. Gotta go. Live it up while it lasts. What? What's his name? Oh, Michael Masters. I thought it was Michael Myers for a second there. Every day, I'm reminded. 
how much I love this game. Down here. Smash. <laughs> Wood. Wait, where the hell is he? This just takes you outside. Um, can I go down there? Oh, he's going back down here. Okay, here we go. Do you like this more than New Vegas? Um, I don't know if I'd say more than New Vegas personally. I don't know, but at the same time, it, it's going to be... I haven't played all the Fallout games in a very long time. Three being the one that it's been the longest since I played. Um, so it's going to be nice kind of comparing them in different aspects once I get to New Vegas again. Because when we do finish this and the DLCs, we will be moving on to New Vegas. Same thing. Once I do that and any DLCs that I'm interested in, we'll be moving on to four. Same thing. Once I do all the endings or the playthroughs I want to do a four, we'll be moving on to 76. Uh, now it's like I keep saying it's gonna be over time it's not gonna be back to back to back only fallout but as we make more progress I'm I'm hoping to play all of them so what do you want uh let's see so what are you doing in the metro tunnels biding our time making plans getting ready Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. Dude, I don't know what it is, but something something about that nose right there is doing something for me. Whew. That's one good-looking ghoul. <laughs> it, it is kind of crazy, though. Like, if you look at the ghouls in this, and then you look in the... Um, the next few games ghouls and then you look in the show ghouls like they're not as hideous anymore i guess over time ghouls have just kind of reformed i in a way i, I don't know ex yeah they're, they don't like look that that terrifying i might be able to get you in there i already got a plan they think i'm a monster i'll show them the real monsters oh whoa whoa whoa, 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 whoa. feral brethren on all those bigoted sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is getting past the damn subway access door. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. There must be some way to get that open. <laughs> right on. Kill those elitists. I think I can help you with that escape door. <laughs> now nah, listen. Uh... Let me try talking to Tenpenny. Maybe he wouldn't mind you living there. Ha. Huh. Those snooty bitches probably can't stand living with each other, let alone with us. Why well, by be all means, very persuasive. Try talking to Tenpenny if you like, but it won't work. Then we'll do it my way. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on them. Dude, that would be kind of crazy, though. Let's talk about Tenpenny. Uh, actually, what's it like? Help the ghouls get into Tenpenny Tower or kill them. And tell me what it's like being a ghoul. You better choose your next words really carefully, because you're starting to piss me off. Whoa. I, I'm sorry. I'm Whoa. I didn't mean to offend. I'm not prejudiced. Sure, whatever you say, you pretentious two-faced asshole. Jeez. No, really. I mean it. I don't care if you're a ghoul or not. Uh-huh. Fine, whatever. Being a ghoul ain't anything worse than any other thing somebody's got to deal with. Like your stupidity, for example. You can't help it. You were born stupid. Or dropped <laughs> on your head as a kid. Either way, it ain't nothing you can change. So you deal with it. Alright, okay. My bad, dude. My bad. I hit a sweet spot. I apologize. I won't ask again. Gotta go now. Hurry up. Those bigots got big comeuppance waiting for them. 
I mean to give it to him soon. Now get. Now get. Bessie, damn. Oh, hello. Damn. I'm Bessie Lynn. I, I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I did. I, I hope you know what you're doing. You could get in a lot of trouble by coming around uninvited. I, nice to meet you, Bessie. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. You must be pretty tough to get past all the ferals. They tend to leave us alone. But someone like you... Am I babbling again? Roy tells me I shouldn't do that. You can babble all you want, Bessie. You can babble all you want. What are you doing in the metro tunnels? Roy is coming up with a plan to get us into that tower. Ten pennies. Says it's only a matter of time. He's strong like that. He never gives up. The kind of guy who makes things happen, Roy is. That's why the others follow him. Hmm. Me, I just like the way he looks at me. Makes me feel pretty <laughs> yeah. again. I'd go anywhere with him. Aw. Gustavo hired me to kill- No, I'm just kidding. St Listen. That's for another run, okay? That is for another run. Yeah, we're gonna go try and talk to, uh... Try to talk to Tenpenny and convince them. Still want to try to be the, the nice guy, you know? Want to do what I can to help the ghouls. Can you get a, a ghoul? It, what's the first uh, game that you can get a ghoul companion? Can you get one in uh, New Vegas? Warrington. Okay, nice. Right here. Give me a second. Keep your panties on. <laughs> They're on. <laughs> Raul in New Vegas. Hell yeah. Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. All right, let me go talk to Mr. Ten Penny. Mr. Tenpenny, sir. Yo, what's up, London? Finally caught a live stream after the first. Uh, this quest you're on has a great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Dude, this place is sick. Up here. Now's not the best time. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. I do. There are some ghouls who want to live here. What do you think about that? Why, I do believe you've lost your mind. <laughs> Ghouls living here? You're serious? I... Uh, I was just kidding. Those zombies need to be killed. No, I'm just what if the residents are okay with ghouls with ghoul neighbors? <laughs> I don't suppose I'd mind terribly if ghouls were to live here. Huh. And it would be a good bit of sport hunting them down if they misbehaved. <laughs> What's up, AK I dare guy? Say, though, you'll have a bit of trouble convincing certain residents to go along with your novel proposition. Tell you what, if you can convince Mr. and Mrs. Wellington, Mr. Ling, Ms. Montenegro, and Ms. Lancaster, those ghouls can live here. Have you seen me shoot? I'm quite proficient, if I do say so myself. Okay. Note admin, ten pennies requests. All right, so we gotta convince all these people: Mr. and Mrs. Wellington, Mr. Ling, Mon uh, Mr. Montenegro, and Miss Lancaster. Got it. Can I help you? Yeah, my my speech is a hundred right now. So we should be able to. Uh, well. Yeah, do a little bit of convincing. Let me do what I gotta do. Charm, All right, who are you? Primrose, you seem fine. Hi. Is that you? 
Oh yes, it is. Back for the best. I am. I am. Brotherhood or Enclave? Well, unfortunately, the uh the Enclave are no longer existent. RIP their base and their uh, AI president. RIP. <laughs> well done, 47. Okay, uh, how would you feel about ha having a few uh, ghoul neighbors, ma'am? You're being serious? That's out of the question. Yo, thank you for the follow there, what AK. What an absurd notion. Listen, I I've met ghouls. They're civilized and they pose no threat. I think you must have been out in the sun too long. Perhaps I could sell you a nice hat to keep your brain from frying. Listen, this is happening and you're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. You horrible little zombie lover. What right do you and your disgusting buddies have to push honest, hardworking, important people around like that? Where do you propose I live? Hey, I don't care. Get your stuff together. <laughs> Damn. I'm sure you'll find something suitable. Don't worry. Don't worry? Did you just step out of a vault? Haven't you seen what's out there? I'm doomed. And it's all your fault. Hey. Hey. Whose fault is that, huh? If you're not going to be okay with it, if you're not going to be civil, yes. then it, well, I've got no part in that. Hello? Hey, All right, hey. do I have to convince Hi. Gustavo too? Is he one of the people? Oh, hello. No, he's not. Dangerous. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Evening. You better behave. Gustavo's guards are swift to take care of Yo, what's up, winners? And how are you this fine day? Watching you uh, have helped me so much, Bunch. Thank you so much. Yo, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by, too. Hey. Uh, Michael Shakes. Alright, I don't have to convince either of these guys. Hey. If any. Anthony, you are one of the people I need to convince. I'm always glad to see a customer, especially if they are dressed so hideously. Seriously, <laughs> we have to get you a new wardrobe. Listen, how would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? You can't be... Oh, shoot. Listen, I, I've met ghouls, they're civilized, and they pose no threat. Why would you hang out with dirty vermin like that? You enjoy sifting through feces. You know, it's only a matter of time before they get hungry and eat you. You're crazy. Ghouls will never live in Tenpenny Tower. All right, we're going to have to go through this again, I guess. <clears throat> Listen, motherfucker, this is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. <sighs> You'll regret this. I've spent years collecting all this fabulous merchandise. I won't stand for this. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Hey. I'm sure you'll find something suitable. Don't worry. The only suitable place is Tenpenny Tower. Everywhere else stinks and caters to lowlife scum like you. Oh, yeah? I'll die out there. I just know it. Go join the Empire or something. Evening. Uh, okay. We got two more people we need to convince. Mr. and Mrs. Wellington. Uh, did I meet Lancaster? Miss Lancaster? Oh, there's a second level right here? Hey. Oh. Hey. What if all the neighbors agree? Uh, I guess we're going to find out. You. I'm trying to convince them to to let the ghouls live here, too. All right, they're not up here. Hey there. Oh. Hey there. Hello there. Chat once again. Thank you for all the likes so far, wherever you're watching. I appreciate it. My YouTube is Cassis Plays and Twitch is Cassis Plays TV.
All right, we gotta go back down here, I guess. Wait, sir. Um, did I commit? I convinced both of them. Where are the rest of them? I can smell the stink of ghoul. On Chief, you take care of those ghouls yet? Um. How would you feel about having a ghoul neighbor? Hell no. Tenpenny won't allow it. And I take my orders from him. What if Tenpenny will let ghouls live here? He'd be out of his goddamn mind. Goddamn mind. Like I said, ultimately, I work for him, so whatever he says goes. Right. But I wouldn't like it. Hey, okay. well, good. Gotta go. <laughs> yeah, you may be the last of your kind right now, AK. Okay? The Enclave is hey. is no more, at least right now. Charm, I'm sure. Hey there. Who do I have to? Where are they? There. Wellington, Wellington, and Lancaster. That's the only people I need to convince. And how are you? Ah, hello. Hey. Hawthorne, hey, Chang. <laughs> well, what's the status of All right, let's try the first floor. Uh, we already did this one. Doing well, I hope. And Dashwood. Bye. It's definitely not her either. Bye. Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. My caster, there you are. Hello. Hey Susan. there. Oh. Is there something I can do for you? Oh yes, there is. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors, Susan? I've come too far to share my digs with some droopy ghoul. Oh, yeah? I've met these ghouls. They aren't so bad. Well, if you don't mind their stink, then you should go squat with them in their dirty tunnels and leave us civilized people alone. Listen, Susan, I hate to break it to you, but this is happening, and you're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. I'm done with the wasteland, and I've been everywhere else. There isn't anything better than this. Damn you and your ghouls. Get wrecked. Good luck. I got a plan. I'll talk to Tenpenny. I bet I can live in Burke's place. He's never around anyway. Burke? And when he does come back, uh -oh. I'll make sure he's fine with the new arrangement. Oh, I don't... I'll just send up uh -oh. for my food. <laughs> I'll never even have to look at you. Or your ghoul buddies. Oh. Uh, Sorry, I keep missing. Yeah, you Burke's dead. Shit. Chat, yo, thank you for all the likes there. Appreciate that. Did we just hit 10k on uh, TikTok? I forgot that Burke came from this place. Yeah, that man is gone. He is gone. This is the bathroom. All right, good to know. Fox, go ahead. I'll wait for you outside. I know he's been holding one in for a while. How are things? Splendid. Simply splendid. Thanks so much for asking. Are you Dr. Wellington? No. Where's Dr. I mean, where's not uh where's Mr. and Mrs. Wellington? Someone was saying upstairs around ten penny. Ah, hello. Can I help you? Oh, that's Susan. You moving out, Susan? Good luck. Dang personal computer. Okay. Okay. Bro, where are they? I 
I can smell the stink. I'm looking for Mr. and Mrs. Wellington. Ah, hello. Ma'am. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. I'm not. Relax. Yes. Hi. Move. Shakes. Along, Tiffany. Fox. Come on now. Fox. Get the fox out of my way, please. Hey there. There we go. Oh wait, there's a door right here. No way. Uh, I don't think this is the right way. But now I know where that's at. Yes. Don't remember. Don't remember this part. Right now we're in. Uh, Hello. We're in Ten Penny Tower. Are you ah, Miss? Hello. Oh, not Wellington. Where else? Where else would they be? What time is it? 8.15? Maybe they're going to sleep. Alright, let me try going upstairs. Instead of going all the way to the top, we'll just go to the suites right here. Hey. Hey. Wellington? Ah, oh, shoot. Oh. Ah, hello. Wellington? Charm, I'm sure. Does it say they're, uh... This is Mr. Daring's house. He's got a little, uh, hula girl. Hello? The arrows on the compass are just leading me back over to, uh, to Gustavo and, uh, the other person. They're not actually leading me to the people I need to convince. Yeah, they're just saying help the ghouls or kill the ghoul. Hello. Damn. <gasps> no, doctor! <laughs> Fallout 3 ages so well. It it really does. Yes. It's it's so good. Bro, they're still not up here? That's Mr. Daring. Yes. I'm reading that they're sitting down outside. I'll try going outside. Also, oh. thank you. If if this is true, I can smell we'll find out in like two seconds. No way. Evening. Oh. Hey. Millicent. Oh, it's yes. these guys. Edgar. Yes. Can I help you? <sighs> I've been searching for you for so long now. You have no idea. How would you feel about having a few ghouls as neighbors? <laughs> You're joking, right? You serious? Of course not. Ghouls can't live here. They're dirty, loathsome creatures. Whoa! Listen. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told everybody else. I've met these ghouls, they're civilized, and they pose no threat. I'm afraid I can't abide by that. I can't imagine Tenpenny would allow it. But I certainly won't. Alright, well, this is happening, and you're gonna have to deal with it or get forced out. This is outrageous, preposterous, forced out by a bunch of dirty ghouls and some bleeding heart activist? Where will I live? How will I get there? Hey, good luck. Mule, get yours. <laughs> nice. All they, all they needed is a little bit of convincing, you know? That's all they need sometimes. All right, let's go talk to Mr. Tenpenny and let him know, but uh, I won't bother him, you know during his evening sleep, so we'll wait until the morning. But do we need to talk to Millicent too? It says Mr. Amos's. All right, let me try. Shoot, are they still here? No! <laughs> yes. 
Ah, oh, shit. Maybe if I wait one more hour. Yeah, womp Morning. womp. Millicent, come back, please. Baby, come back. I don't know, did it... Did the quest update? Watch your manners. Oh, there you... Hey. You look very similar to somebody else. Watch your manners. No, that's Margaret. By you, no. Nope. Charmed, I'm sure. Ma'am, I could try. Uh, I could try going upstairs. Anyways. You have something to say? No. No. Hey there. Are you? Nope. Shoot. I can't believe. Yeah, maybe you don't need both. Let me see what happens if I go to the top and just tell him. You have a curious look of. Uh, shit, I do. Gotta go. Yeah, we didn't have any, uh,. up Irving hello all right maybe they're outside now <laughs> this question we changed to hide and seek honestly right <laughs> all right I'm waiting out here let's see if they show up again come on welcome to ten penny tower I don't know when the last time. Mm. I'd rather wait because it's. I saved a few minutes before they came out here. Charmed, I'm sure. We'll find them. We will find them. I should have just talked to her first. Millicent? Hey. No. Millicent. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Charm, I'm sure. Nope. Bro. I ran into them over here before. Wait until 8 p.m. I'll check this one more time. Daring, okay. Yes. I'll check up here one more time. Nope, not sleeping. Good to see you. God, I thought you were her for a second. I should <laughs> I really should have just talked to her. And how are you this time? <gasps> oh, Introductions are in order. I am Mrs. Edgar Wellington. You may refer to me as Madam or My Lady Wellington. All right. Oh, sh <laughs> oh look, another stuck up. <laughs> Dude, play. Ah, oh, doing an evil or mean run in this game would be so much fun. Holy. There, there's some crazy stuff you can say sometimes. But I'm going to be nice for right now. Very nice to meet you, My Lady Wellington. You're better mannered than your apparent breeding would indicate. It is nice to make your acquaintance. You didn't have uh, to catch a glimpse of any ghouls on your way in here, did you? Yo, she's get uh, that sentence gave off a big synth vibes right there. Um, I'd rather spend time with ghouls than some other people I know. I do hope you're not referring to me. I'm certainly a hey. better conversationalist than some stupid ghoul. Ma'am. And I smell better, too. Ma'am, 
If the shoe fits, go ahead and wear it. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? Dear Lord, are you serious? Ghouls living here with us? <laughs> That's simply out of the question. All right, well, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told your husband. I've met these ghouls, and they're civilized and pose no threat. Ha! I think I know a fair share more than some vagrant blown in off the weights. You are simply mistaken. They may appear nice, but deep down, they want to kill. It's common knowledge among the educated. Ma'am. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. Ma'am. I'm sorry. This is happening. And you're going to have to deal with it or get forced out, just like your husband. Damn it. This can't be happening. Why do you think I came here in the first place? To get away from ghouls, monsters, and scum like you. Now I'll have to start all over again. Where will I go? I'm sure you'll find something suitable. Don't worry. I already did. I hope one of your ghoul buddies kills you. You'll see. Oh, do you now? Oh, really? Yeah? Yeah? Perfect. Now we're good. All right. <clears throat> Hello. Um, huh, that was a weird glitch. That was very strange. I don't know what happened there. Um, all right. Let's go talk to Mr. Tenpenny. Where is he? <laughs> yeah, imagine just opening the live. Like you're just casually scrolling. Hello, hello. And you see that? You like, hold on now. What, look what's you. what's this man doing? You have something interesting to tell me. <laughs> all right. Well, the bigots have all been taken care of, so the ghouls can move in now, right? Well, if my tenants want ghoul neighbors, they can have them. Though the ghouls must pay and follow the rules like everyone else. You're a clever one, aren't you? Mm. I'm glad this situation has been resolved. Hey, at least he's it's like... a bit crass, we but compromise. here's a little something for your troubles. 500 bottle caps. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take that. Tell Roy Phillips the ghouls can now move in. I can smell the stink. Yeah, we could have seen what they had on them loot wise. But eh, we would have lost that on it anyways. Alright, let's let him know. Well, we cleared out three rooms, so. Yeah, probably just pre-war outfits. That's, I can see that. Chat, once again, thank you for all the likes so far. Thanks to the new followers and subs, uh, regardless of what platform you're watching on. Twitch is cast displays TV, and then YouTube is just cast displays if you guys want the full screen. But I appreciate it. It's still been a, a lot of fun playing this. Really been enjoying uh, Fallout again. <laughs> Thanks, old school. Thank you. All right, save. Good to see you. Guys, drink up. Good to see you. Cheers. What's the status on those ten penny bigots? Y you know what'd be funny? What if I switched it up and was like, you know what? Go ahead, let the let the horde in. But nah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I've taken care of things and you can move in now. I'll be damned. Really? Good job, kid. I was willing to unleash the pharaohs and kill all those bigots. Guess I don't have to now. Here's a little something for your troubles. 
It'll help you deal with our feral brethren if you meet any. Sweet. Oh, we got a ghoul mask. Yeah, best get on your way. Huh. Okay. It's like they're going to move in now. All right, I got to see what happens. <laughs> Enjoy this a lot. Yeah, I appreciate that, Sean. Yo, thank you for the five roses there, too. Thank you, thank you. It really has been a lot of fun playing this again. I, I think I kind of remember Tenpenny Tower a little bit. I mean, it's it's been a long time. Like, I keep saying that it's been the longest time for me playing Fallout 3. But I feel like there's parts of it where I do kind of remember. Like, I remember when it used to take a solid two to three minutes just for it to load into new areas and all that. Sean, thank you for the, for the rose there again. All right. Let's try waiting until let's go 12 hours, 12 hours. Damn. Yeah, time flies while playing this, too. I want to see if they end up showing up here and they move in. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Tenpenny resident? <laughs> Uh-oh. Hello. Hello. A lot of ghouls here now. Bessie! Oh, hello there. Can't thank you enough. Oh, Bessie's so nice. Uh, what's it like living at Tenpenny Tower now? It's wonderful. Roy was right. This is the way to live. Let's trade. What's she have? Oh. Oh, she's running the uh, store now. Oh, that's kind of funny. Gotta go. Hey. What's up, Tiffany? Sure. Look, at, look at that. Sure. They don't even care anymore. Don't know how you did it. I'd never allow those zombies room and board. But as long as Tenpenny keeps paying me, I'll stay. Well, there you go. You got an armament, arm, armament supply. Want to do some trade? I guess we could do a little trading. Here's what I got. Oh, boy. Check the basement. Okay. He's got a decent amount. Hey Good to see you. Good to ah, see you. Hello. I'm not seeing. I mean, like, I see some uh, normal people here, but Morning. let's talk to Margaret. Thanks for helping those ghouls. They really aren't so bad. Aw, that's nice. Thanks for asking. Hey there. Wow. <laughs> ah, hello. All I see is ghouls. Let's see what he says. Yes. Doctor. Hello, friend. Ghoul physiology is fascinating. Um. All right, gotta go. I really talked to him there. Yes. All right, I want to talk to Tenpenny and just see what he you says. You yourself. You caused any more trouble, and you will be hit. Wait, where'd he go? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Roy. Well, it is an hour hero. Roy. <laughs> hey there, bud. Thanks again for helping us get in here. Uh where's Mr. Tenpenny? What's it like living at Tenpenny Tower? Beats the wasteland and thirty tunnels, that's for damn sure. Gotta go. Roy. Where's Mr. Tenpen? Roy? Uh, 
I didn't even know you could walk around here. Whoa. Is that door blocked off? That one too. Um, I'm going to go look at the basement. <laughs> yes. Hold on now. Oh, that's the empty suite. Fallout Fever's got everyone in a chokehold. I love it, man. Yeah, it's it's been so good. Sean, thank you for the roses again. Oh no. Wait, there's a there's people down here. This door is activated elsewhere. We talk to somebody somebody knows how to get down there hey, what um gotta go hey hey comrade those ghouls seem like a real community huh adversity must have made them strong it's funny how it's all the boomers that are like actually kind of nice about it good to see I think Roy inherited Ten Penny Tower. I think so. Hey. How do I get into the basement? I can't get down there. Hey. Hello. 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 You're all my husband talks about now. Do you have any idea how annoying <laughs> that is? Hey, my bad. My bad. Take care. <laughs> Move along, please. I'm not here for your entertainment. Welcome to the... Uh, say nothing. Gotta go. Hello. Good to see you. You had some time? Uh, let me, uh... Yeah, we can always come back. You have something to oh, say? Oh, my bad. Jeez. Containment locked very hard. Maybe it's open from the outside? I saw the outside opening. I mean, worst case, we, we come back in another time. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, though. All right, let's take one quick look here. Can I get in here? That requires a key. I'm not here for your entertainment. I used to be able to talk to people about getting into the basement, but Nobody else wants to talk to me now. Mr. Daring here? Still? You can lockpick, uh, Gustavo. Oh, wait, Mr. Wellington is still here? Wait, you guys stayed? I have nothing to say to you except this. Watch your back. You'll get yours soon enough. Oh, wait, they stayed? Interesting. What is that? Somebody's partying it up. Hey. 
All right, peace. Good to see you. Ah, hello. Wait, are you a human? Oh, you are. Hey, I would surely have perished if it wasn't for Roy Tenpenny Tower. Tenpenny Tower is a one. I'm not. Let me try one more time. Just one more. Activated elsewhere. Yeah. Pork, 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 pork. All right, we'll come back. We'll have to come back. Let's uh, put that. I mean, all right, you know what? Since we're here, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Since we're here, wait, that's so funny that we have a ghoul mask. Stealth boy. You will. Generator room. Get away with that. Oh shit. Oh shit. <gasps> Excuse me, sir. Sorry. Not a good idea. It's okay. You'll never know, sir. You'll never know. <laughs> it said detected still, did it? Oh, I went out and then I went back in. That's why. Since we're here. Um, hello? Terminal easy? What, do I have to use this thing? Oh God, we gotta do one of these. All right, let's go one word, zero. Okay, that's great. Get rid of all the duds. Oh, there's one. Allowance replenished. Uh, worried, no, it can't be that. Monitor, could be. Spionage. Activate containment doors to gain open containment door. Distress call to DCTA. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Oh, I heard shots. I, you guess the the terminal <clears throat> stuff. Yeah, you, you just kind of take a guess, and then you gotta find the correct one, and then it tells you what's if it's uh, close to it or not. Um. All right, so this that's where we opened it. Suitcase. Let me check this one. Oh. The book? Oh, there's, there's a book? I'll go back. Darts. This is like 
inventory is this? So it would be considered stealing right now. The heck? Zoboko Science. All right, I'm going back. I'm going back. Excuse me. Fox, please. Fox. <laughs> Everyone's playing Fallout now? Yeah, I, I was scrolling earlier today. I saw a decent amount more playing. I've been playing for like the last uh, two weeks. Because I figured it would be good to get started and stuff. But it's been fun. I haven't played uh, 3 for a very long time. I did finish the main story. Now we're kind of doing side quests and uh, DLC for 3. Before we move on to... Uh, oh, Big Book of Science. Nice. Yeah, before we move on to New, New Vegas, down the line. Yo, what's up, Master? Yeah, we got Fox. <laughs> Not wrong there. Are you so fast? I think it's because I have the frame rate uncapped on PC. Which at, at this point I've gotten used to it, so. Where does this lead to? Oh, this leads all the way to where they were. Huh. Wait, so. Alright, well, going down here didn't do anything. I'm just reloading back. Wait. So, I'm going to look this up. Where is Tenpenny? I said they're in the generator access room. Yeah, I saw somebody said they're in the closet. Well, they're in this thing. It's crazy. 14 years ago. Uh, Alistair Tenpenny. Where is... I just want to see where he's at. When I saw Roy in the hallway, you said that they had a disagreement and he settled it. Yeah, I did see the the blood trail to the bathroom, but he wasn't in there. <laughs> I just want to see if he's anywhere if like if you can actually find it, but I guess maybe you can't. Oh well. I figured we'd be able to find his body somewhere because he, he obviously something went down. Something definitely went down. 
body hasn't spawned yet. Yeah, it's... I mean... Roy, where are you at? Get back here. There you are. Hey there, bud. Uh, yeah, what happened to Mr. Tenpenny? I'm afraid Tenpenny and I had a little disagreement. Not to worry, though. He soon had a little accident. Problem solved. Oh. Okay. Gotta go. Yeah, best get on your way. <laughs> okay. Well, I still got good karma. It's not my fault. The, uh... Um... Yeah, it's not it's not my fault. God how ugly the ghouls are in three. Yeah, they're a little uh they're, they're, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Hey. Alright, well we are uh I guess we're done in ten penny tower. Time to continue on to the broken steel DLC. Um I am looking to see Hello. what happened to the ghoul to the Tenpenny residents after they move in. Okay, one second. Yeah, I see a video from a year ago. Oh. Wait, maybe if I go in. Wait, maybe after you told me. Um, where's the guy with the helmet? Oh, there you are, Darren. Glad to see you were able to convince these people to open their minds a little. Those ghouls will liven things up around here for a long time. Dude, all the boomers are so happy. They're they're so happy. They're like, dude, this is awesome. I love these guys. <laughs> I'm surprised by my fellow tenants. I used to think they were all closed-minded idiots. Gilly, thank you for Turns the gift out there. Aren't so bad after all. And the first one, thank you, thank you. Dear, I live in Tenpenny Tower. I'm Good to see the you. <laughs> They're actually Hello. all so happy. You better not cause any more trouble. Any more trouble, hey man? What do you mean? Thank you for the high bears there too. All right. Let me see if I go down here now. Nope. No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I deserve it for playing Teak. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right, we're going to have to come back here at some point. This was a detour I was not expecting to take today, but I am perfectly fine with it because doing the story for them was kind of cool. And having the speech for all this was a lot of fun. Oh, where's the guy with the helmet? I just want to see if I can find him one more time. But if not... Welcome to Ten Penny Town. Apparently you can talk to him and ask... Ah, oh, here he is. Hey, kid. How's it going? Yo, chat, thank you for all the likes there. I bet they'll be doing fine. Yeah, I'm sure they I'm sure they will. So like living in a ten penny tower. It's weird, actually. I used to vacation here before the bombs dropped. Used to be a resort for the wealthy and powerful. Oh, I never yeah? thought I'd be the one fighting to get in here. Guess way back it used to be a plantation. Ironic, isn't it? Huh. Um Alright, gotta go. Live it. Okay, well, we are, uh... And how are you this fine day? Oh, let me talk to this guy. What? Is he... Do you even know your, your boss is gone? I'd be better if I could get my hands on some cash. Alright, we'll come back at another time. End penny tower complete. Alright, so we're gonna go back to doing death from above. I think this is the, uh, broken steel storyline. And then I'll fast travel to Warring Train Yard. Warrington train yard. This is where I was headed to begin with, but then, then that happened. So, <laughs> little detour. Um, 
Now, we haven't done the Mothership yet. Uh, I haven't really done any of the DLCs except for um, Operation Anchorage. I do plan on doing all the DLCs, though. Um, and then any, like, a side storyline like that, I, I really enjoyed. So I, that's why I took the detour to do it. Any other ones, like, if they kind of pop up and they're like that or similar, I'll do those too. But for the most part, I'm sticking to, to the DLCs until we finish those up. Um, or if we run across those. But, Jack, give me 30 seconds. I just need to run to the bathroom and then uh, go ahead and get moving to the, towards this mission. So... Grab your drinks and grab your snackies, tap the screen, give a like on the YouTube, whatever it is. I'll be right back in like two seconds. I am back. Yeah, once again, my YouTube is cast as plays and Twitch is cast as plays TV. Ah. Imagine a death claw pulls up. We ran into one death claw so far. Playing this because you want uh, you watch the show. Yeah, we, I started playing it like two weeks in advance because I knew it was gonna make me want to play, and it was it was a good time to get started. So, how much longer are you gonna play for? Um, probably another like I want to say like forty five minutes to an hour ish. Most likely. Uh. Just as a reminder again, so tomorrow night, I I won't be playing Fallout tomorrow. I will be playing some... Oh, got an enemy coming up here. Gilly, thank you for the gifts there. The hand hearts again. Thank you, thank you. Tomorrow we're going to be playing... Uh, oh, there's a death call. <laughs> Speaking of a death call. Oh, shit. came prepared damn damn anyways uh tomorrow night there's a game called crime boss rock a city which is a very strange but uh in my opinion very fun game it's by the same publishers as payday and in my opinion it's a better version of payday 3 um, tomorrow they're getting a 8.0 update since it's been a little bit over the over a year and they're adding some new content so I think we're gonna jump into that just one stream see what it's like do some co-op um, rob some banks steal some cash steal some gold whatever the case is and then uh, 
Wednesday night, we've got some Baldur's Gate 3 Dark Urge run where I'm just doing all the evil stuff I can. And then, uh, then Thursday night, we'll probably be back to, uh, Fallout again. What was it called? It's called Crime Boss Rock A City. It's the same, uh, publishing team that originally made Fallout, or not Fallout, <laughs> um, Payday. And it's, it's a very strange game. It's got a, a decent amount of actors in it and stuff, but... It's a, it's a really cool roguelite, and it's literally same concept as Payday, but just robbing banks. Robbing banks, like doing stealth. Uh, there's a roguelite aspect where like you start a campaign, and then eventually you, you will die, you will fail, but you level up, and you can recruit people and all this cool stuff. So... I've been wanting to play it again for a while, and then I just so happened to uh, see that they're doing an update tomorrow, so figured why not. Damn. I. Uh, where's this? Yeah. Dude, Fox is so good. So freaking good, man. It's great to have no new Fallout releases on the horizon while everything is popping. I know, dude. Like, you know they gotta be... Surely they're working on something, right? But I don't know if they are, right? Even, even if they're just in talks or, like, trying to write a script out or something, but, yeah, it's... They're working on Elder Scrolls 6, and that's still not years out. Oh! Just give it to Obsidian again. Let Obsidian make another one. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently, I, I wasn't actually aware of it. Um, but supposedly there is some uh, information about potentially a remake of 3. Um, they're in, like, the whole Microsoft thing that happened some emails and all that so I did not know that actually oh come on damn uh red scorpion and glenn sell for a lot Yao Gai increases your damage and heals. Hey, I appreciate it, Gilly. Thank you again for the gifts there. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh. Rockland Car Tunnel. Hey. Hey. there well well look who's back amongst the living yes some of us were starting <laughs> to wonder if you and sarah were going to pull through good to see you too i'm here to help is that so well it'll be good to have another soldier we can count on basic rule of thumb on these operations keep your head down and let the robot do most of the heavy lifting he can take it better than you can What do you need me to do? Actually, okay, I'm ready to go. All right. You stay back with me and keep safe. Once we've reached the facility, we'll talk about who does what. Until then, we do this by the numbers. Same strategy has worked just fine for the last two weeks. Let's get moving. Things should be underway by now. Okay. 
It's been pretty standard for the last week or so. We get intel on positions, go in and burn them out. Easy enough. The tin can Always play without the word, any honestly. companions. Uh, that's what I love the companions in Fallout, personally. Scribes pulled information about this place. It took so yesterday. long to get one in this facility. this Fallout game. It's kind of surprise. We're thinking if it's active, we can find out who they're talking to and get the last of the locations nailed down. Damn. Oh, Liberty Prime's still here? Hell yeah. Communist target acquired. Fire. Woo. Jeez. Moving. Jeez. Maybe I should use my sniper rifle here. Supposed to be protecting this guy? Yeah. America will never fall to communist invasion. America will never fall. Damn. Satellite uplink detected. Analysis of communist transmission. What? Uh, okay. This is the Broken Steel DLC right now. Get back! Oh no! Tristan, he's unconscious! find out what the hell just happened there's no time to talk get your ass inside that base and help the troops locate the source of their transmission now soldier now now this is one I signed up for all right I'm going I'm going be careful in there who knows what else they're going to throw at us yeah I, I actually like the brotherhood <laughs> in three this is this is what I remember like, I thought the brotherhood were so cool um, and it's because they're actually nice in three. <laughs> What's up? All right, let's get inside. Not gonna have too much room here, but I'll take what I can get. It's kind of surprising that they have. Yeah, that's weird. Oh god! It's so easy to confuse them. Their armor looks so similar to each other. Get wrecked. Damn. No, I I didn't get the Harkness uh, rifle. I have the the Goss rifle, anyways. We are destroying them right now. Oh, 
Moving. <laughs> oh, he disappeared. Try not to shoot the uh, friendlies. Enemy contact. Clear. Damn. I'm I'm already wearing the uh, the T fifty one B armor instead of the enclave stuff. Which has been really, really nice. This armor has... Oh! It saved me so much. Dandy boy apples. God goes Scott dog dude Riley is awesome that that's what his name was right best characters now I'm playing on normal difficulty right now I'm just very uh prepared I think the main story uh also scales to you i mean this is technically dlc at this point but it's like an extension oh sorry dog. my uh my smart guns are at like capped out too is that 100 or small guns is that 100 is the graphics so good i'm playing on pc right now with all the uh let me see yeah there's there's normal does he even show i don't think you can yeah you can't change the settings there is a launcher though on pc that you can edit <laughs> this is three right now favorite fallout i probably Probably would say New Vegas. That's the one that I've played the most, but I, I like all of them. Dude, dog meat is doing work right now. Yeah, I will be playing uh, once once we finish three up and like the DLCs. I will be playing New Vegas. Uh, for sure, which I I'm looking forward to it because it's it's been a very long time since I played. All right, I think we're almost in the clear here. Somebody's glitched. Oh. Ah. Get wrecked. Oh. 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 Took the armor by accident. Uh, let me drop that actually. Hey, you can have that back. Oh, come on. What are we doing here? We save.
Yeah, playing this too has kind of really made me want to play two other games, Stalker and the Metro series again. I've never played Stalker and I've always wanted to revisit the Metro series. Give me like very similar vibes. Your ex Activate the uh, s satellite uplink, server uplink. Update orders, request new data. Deliver the data to the scribe Rothschild. Exhausting my patience. Next DLC I would do would be Mothership Zeta, three equivalent to the weapon pair kits. This is foolish. For these turrets. Nice. Hey, there we go. Oh. Oh boy. Whew. Not too bad. Mm. The weight's actually kind of low. Oh, we hit 21. Sweet. All right, let's bump, honestly, energy weapons. I'll get that to 65. Science. It's getting cold in here. Sec. Okay. Bump science up to 70. Medicine. Yeah, I'll bump medicine up too. Can't really go wrong with that. All right. For the first time in a while, I'm taking a different perk instead of intense training. I haven't looked at these in a long time now. To find more caps, gunslinger, lead belly, impartial medication, you gain 30 extra points to speech. Uh, that's, yeah, never mind. Size matters. Animal friend. I might actually do animal friend. Yeah. Here and now that just levels you up again. <gasps> the mysterious stranger. Oh, okay. Hold on now. Oh, I might have to. I love when the mysterious stranger shows up. That's always one of my favorite perks. I don't know why, but it's it's just always so cool. Once you have the contract killer perk, any good character you kill will have an ear on their corpse. This ear can be sold to a certain person whose identity is disclosed when you take the apps and negative karma. Huh. Kind of cool. Cyborg. Lawbringer. Any evil character you kill will have a finger on their corpse. This finger can be sold to a certain person for caps and positive karma. Action boy. Wait, what's it? You gain an additional 25 action points to use in vats? There's so many good ones now. Set forth a skill to, to be a tag, which instantly raises it by 15 points. Bro, there's so many good ones. If you kill a target in vats, all your action points are restored upon exiting. Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> There's so many good ones. Ah, uh, Animal Friend. I'm stuck between Animal Friend, Mysterious Stranger. Fine, I'll play Fallout 3 again. That was real. So real. I don't know. I gotta go. I think I gotta go Mysterious Stranger. I, I do want to get Animal Friend, but I think I gotta do Mysterious Stranger. I'm doing it. 
Because Animal Friend, all it's going to do is it'll make the enemy stop fighting, right? And then it, once you get it a second time... Oh, there's so many good ones in there. I love the VATS skills that we just saw, too. All right, we got to fast travel back to Citadel. Grim Reaper breaks combat. Hey, I'm all about it. Honestly, we're, I mean, at this point, we're not even struggling, right? I win again. Okay, once we clear out this. Get back here, you. Fox! Fox! Where are you? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Guys, where'd they go? Thank you. Jeez. Oh, he's stuck up there. That's why. All right, let's go back to the Citadel. The Tesla armor, not better. I, I don't think so. Not compared to this. I mean, this stuff has pretty much unlimited durability right now, too. It is unlimited durability. Like, it, it has not dropped at all. Rad resistance and charisma, like it's it's been so good. Are right, we also gotta? I should sell some stuff. Yeah, th this armor has been so good because of the durability. Yeah. I mean, honestly, at this point, too, it wouldn't even be that bad, like, having to repair it all the time, but... But still. Oh, God, I'm falling. All right. I just... I can't believe it. All those years of work, all of it. For what? One botched operation? I'm still waiting on the debriefing from Tristan, but I'm not sure it even matters. With Prime gone... Yo, thank you for all the likes there, LJV. Chat, thank you for all the likes and uh, new followers, too. Regardless of where you're watching. Uh, hopefully I found something that can help you. I don't know what could help at this point. If anything, we should be thankful they waited this long to use... whatever they used. Nonetheless, we should try and move on. What is it you have for me? Mm. <laughs> if you could focus on analyzing this data. I found some encrypted data at the relay station. Ah, yes. Well, I'll see if we can't figure out how to read it. Perhaps it can give us some insight as to just what happened out there. It would be good to salvage something from this mess. Thank you for bringing this to me. I believe Elder Lyons will want to speak with you as well. Perhaps you should find him. If you'll excuse me. The armor has a charisma buff because who would argue with a guy in power armor? True. So true. <laughs> Not me. The Brotherhood is at your service. Go on Twitch. Yeah, my my Twitch is Cast Displays TV, and YouTube is Cast Displays. Okay. Go in here. Is that I trust you've spoken with Rothschild. 
I hope you can make some headway with the data you've recovered. With our primary weapon destroyed, we risk losing our momentum and jeopardizing the entire campaign. I must admit, I now wonder whether moving ahead with this operation was an error in judgment. Yo, Olivia, thanks for the follow there. You couldn't have known this would happen. No one knew. And yet, here we are. Discounting the fact that our best field commander is in a coma and I personal feelings for my daughter, things have not gone well. If we fail now, we could lose everything. <laughs> Everyone here believes in you and, and in the Brotherhood. We can do this. I sincerely hope you are right. If we are to succeed now, it will once again be largely thanks to you. Paladin Tristan has requested you for a special assignment. Ooh. Please report to him at once. We've little time to waste before the Enclave seizes this opportunity. Very well. Oh, the oops, didn't if mean to say that. Gotta go. You're from TikTok? Hey, welcome. Shock value. The armory is on this floor in the side room if you haven't already found it. Is it free for me to grab stuff from it? I mean, if it is, then I, I will. What well, mods? Uh, I'm not using any mods. It's uh, pretty much vanilla on PC. The only thing that I installed extra was uh, there's a thing that lets you run the game in borderless called One Tweak. That's all I've done, though. But it doesn't really overhaul anything. It just lets you run it. Artemis. Good artist. <laughs> I've been listening to to him a lot, actually. Funny enough. Welcome. Cross from where Prime stood. Seventy six worth buying. I think. I think in its current state, it's it's better. Um, I I personally enjoyed 76 on launch, even without like all the quest line and stuff. I thought it was just a fun game to explore and like run into other players. Um, but I think now is like Need better something. selling point for a lot of people. I'm excited to go back to it once I get there. Um, so. You honor us. Watch your presence. Uh, I mean, I don't know if we really need to go to the armory right now, but I wouldn't mind. Late game stuff for sale. See the mess hall. Is at your service. The Brotherhood is at your service. Here it is. Ooh, ooh. What do you need? Uh, what have you got for trade? Sure. Just. Ah, oh, finally. Damn, she's got. Ah, oh, I thought she. I for a second I thought that said four thousand. Caps. So I was gonna say she's got a lot. But no, she does not. We'll buy as much ammo as I can, though. Shotgun shells, stim packs. All right, let me sell some stuff too. 
I'll ask her to repair some of my stuff, I think. Laser pistol. I don't really use the laser pistol. Missile launcher, we'll just get rid of. Scoped 44 Magnum. I'm really never going to use it. Sniper rifle, I'll hold on to. Lying congressional style? Wait. I'll sell the that. So much Rataway, Purified Water, Psycho. Uh, I need to use those books. Free war money. I don't know why I have a pencil. But okay. Also found another book in there. Um, how much would I get for this? Damn. Honestly, sure. Let's get rid of those. Let's sell a few missiles while we're at it. Oh. All right, give me something back. 489, she's out of caps. I don't know, give me some missiles back. You made a sniper rifle. All right, that's fair enough. That works. Give me a shout if you need any steel. And then let me actually repair the sniper rifle. Rifles. I'm a bit concerned. Last week you mentioned a possible delay in the second. All right, where do we need to go? Let me go meet up with Paladin Tristan. Yeah, you can pretty much run the games on anything. It's just whether or not it crashes. I don't know what what the um, the thing is that causes a lot of crashes, but I know a lot of people have had issues. Um, personally, I I've really been. I've had like one or two crashes during it, but it's been fine for the most part. Beaches Max, sell the book. Oh, <laughs> your poor shotgun. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot to repair. Yeah, I also could have sold the book. Oh, well. Valid interest. Nice work back there. Let's hope the scribes can do something useful with the information you retrieved. Unfortunately, we don't have time to sit around and wait for the analysis. Based on what I've seen of you so far, there's an assignment I believe you're well suited for. I'm ready for more. What do you need? With the setbacks the Brotherhood has suffered, we find ourselves in a difficult position. All our available resources need to be positioned for the inevitable counterattack from the Enclave. At the same time, we believe we may have developed a tool to help our chances of victory. But with everyone needed to help defend against the Enclave, we have no one to send on a recovery mission. So, I'm going to have you travel to the Olney Power Works to secure some tech for us. Nice. Uh... Alright. You want me to go- No, I don't think so. You want me to go all the way to Olney? I need you to go there, and quickly. That's the best chance to locate a key piece of experimental equipment, called a Tesla coil. Information we've gathered suggests it's the best place to look for one, and for what the scribes are cooking up, it's absolutely essential. If you can find one, get it back here right away. We don't have much time. Sweet. Gotta go. Ooh, wait, actually, Old Olney is a dangerous place. Is there anything I could have uh, to help me? Check with Scribe Valencourt. She's been researching some of the Enclave technology we've recovered. From oh, what yeah. I understand, she may have come up with something. Okay. I'll be waiting for that Tesla coil. Speak with Scribe Valen Valencourt. In there. All right. Wait, is she in here somewhere? Yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun replaying three again. 
I started this, uh, I mean, I started playing like two weeks ago because I, I knew it was going to be a good time um, to go back. I I did not expect it to do as well, though. Like, I, I, I knew some people obviously would go back to Fallout, right? Um, and see how it is and all that, but I did not expect it to pick up as much as it did. But it, it's really cool to see, though, to be honest. Because there's, there's a lot of people that are jumping into the game for the very first time, or any games. For the very first time, there's also a lot of people going back just to kind of revisit them. So. Hail. Which is always fun. Fun to see. Where is this? Uh, it almost seems like she's up another level. It shows they're like right here. I fell down. You honor us with your presence here. Who is the person that I need to talk to? Speak with Scry Valancourt in the Citadel lab. Maybe over here. Aha. I'm still very, very busy. Is this important or can it wait? No, I haven't really tried any any mods lately. Here you can help me get into the old only. Well, maybe. I mean, possibly. I think so, but I'm not certain. I don't know how much this will actually help. I mean, I'm not quite sure how effective it might be, since it hasn't really been field tested. But I think I've figured out a way to override the signals the Enclave is using to control their death claws. Here, take this. It's only a prototype, so please don't lose it. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. All right, then. There have been reports of an enclave camp southeast of Old Olney, so I'd head there if you want to try it out. I hope the scrambler ends up being useful. I'd hate to have spent all this time on it and get no results, or bad results. That would be worse. True. Good luck. Okay. Use the Enclave control death claws to your advantage. Yo. <laughs> That's insane. What? Wait, do I I don't think do I have an addiction right now? Do I have one? Oh, is that why I look like that? Oh my god. Buff out withdrawal? That's why I look like that. I was wondering why I had that. Hold on. Where's the doc? Um, I think he's over... I'm try going down here. Pretty sure he's in like this area. Library. Bring. Solar. There's a kid here. Squire Maxon. Hail to you, stranger. I am Squire Maxon, Royal Servant of Steel. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Uh... Relax, Squire. I don't bite. I plead for your pardon if my behavior offends you, sir. We don't get many visitors in the Citadel. The brothers and elder ones are excellent teachers. But I get nervous about the protocols. The Codex says that outsiders are not to be trusted. Shield yourself from those not bound to you by steel, for they are the blind. Aid them when you can, but lose not sight of yourself, it says. Wait! He because Yeah! I was gonna say, wait a minute, this- Isn't there somebody named- Yeah, he's literally in Fallout 4. Dude, that's cra- Ah, oh, that's so cool. I was like, wait a minute, isn't there somebody else- uh, yeah, Elder. Yeah, that's so cool. 
Understandable. I've met a lot of dangerous people myself. It's not simply the outsiders that we are wary of. Anybody who has not taken the oath of fraternity is suspicious to us. The Codex says, Fear those who do not pledge to the Brotherhood, for though their eyes may be open through service, they are now blind. But it also tells us, Give way your suspicions to the wisdom of thine elder. Where he shows trust, so shall you. Elder lions trust you, so you are free to stay here. Oh, thanks. Yeah, aren't you a little young for all this? Oh, well, you see, I am descended from the great Roger Maxon, founder of our order. I am the last of his line. They say my soul was forged from eternal steel, but I don't believe that. I'm really just a normal boy. I was sent to the Citadel many years ago to be fostered by elder lions. But that was before the Western elders lost um, faith in the elder. I really don't know if I'll ever get home, but, well, I kind of like it here. Sentinel Lyons has been very kind to me. She's hmm. taught me so much. Uh, they don't actually make you, I don't suppose you know anything about super mutants. Oh, yes. I've studied them quite a bit since I've been here. Oh, uh, yeah? They're not all the same, you know, besides the regular ones. There are also brutes, and after them, the masters. They're really tough. But the worst of all? The behemoth! He's a giant! I saw one once, outside the Citadel walls. So scary. Yeah. The super mutants are all over the city ruins. I took one down. But Elder Lions doesn't actually think they're from there. Or we would have found their home by now. It kind of seems like they're looking for something. But we're not really sure what that is. They don't actually make you fight, do they? No. No. But I could. I know I'm ready. I mean, it would be scary, but it's not fair that I have to sit inside while the knights go on patrol. I did go out one time, you know. Sarah, um, Sentinel Lions, took me out. Just to show me. I killed a super mutant, too. I swear. Damn. I, uh, I also sort of shot Sarah, but just a little. It was just a flesh wound. What? I gotta go. May we speak again soon. Yep. That's crazy. Squire Maxon. Alright, where's this doc? There you are. Good to see. Uh, I think I might be addicted to something. I thought you had the look about you. Sure, <laughs> I can help you, but it's not free. Fifty. Fifty caps. Sure. Okay, hold still. I don't want to make this any more painful than it already is. Wow. If only it just worked like that. <laughs> just got recommended Medical to play this and complete. ran into this. Further instructions. No, I'm done. Acknowledged. Hitting the rack. Nice. Yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. I forgot how much of a treasure Fallout 3 is. And if anything, it, it still makes me excited to like every time I've been playing this. I find something else that I'm like, man, this game's so good. It's so much fun. It just keeps on keeps on going, and it, it just makes me even more excited to play the next one. And then there's it's literally a, a constant tumble. Vault 92 is up there. Where's this? So one of these is find the ruins, and the other one is activate the death claws. It doesn't exactly tell me which is which, though. I'm guessing this is the ruins and this is that. Um. Ooh, minefield. I don't know if I really want to fast travel there. Go to the scrapyard, though. Yeah, I, I've been really surprised how many people have been uh, playing Fallout again. Like, it, there was a, a big resurgence today. I know over the weekend, I'm sure a lot of people played, but even like while I was working today, I pulled up my uh, my phone and was just scrolling through a bit, and I saw a lot of Fallout streams, which is cool. Love to see it. Um, whether it's people, a lot of people playing for the first time ever, and other people playing just revisiting it. So, but chat, I think we're gonna actually chill right here for tonight. 
uh because i don't want to go too much further we got a lot of stuff to do still so um for right now i am uh th that's gonna be it like i said tomorrow we're not gonna be playing fallout tomorrow i'm gonna be checking out the uh crime boss update do some robbing some banks and other stuff probably a little bit of co-op wednesday we've got the dark urge run for Baldur's gate we're gonna be continuing that most likely Thursday and Friday will be back to Fallout again. So, and then same thing with the weekend. The weekend will probably bounce between Fallout and a few other games. So, should be a, a good time. Um, watch your stream on here the other day. My feet, my feet is just people playing Fallout Three. Really? Yeah, I, I saw some people. I seen a lot of people playing New Vegas too. But, but yeah the best way to find places to visit honestly following roads and then the other thing too um when you look at your mini map well you can't really see it on tiktok but you'll see like an icon uh on your or not your mini map you'll see uh uh on your compass a little icon that shows if it's like filled in it's an area that you've already discovered if it's uh if it's like empty in the center of it it's an area that you haven't discovered yet so it's as simple as going to the areas following the roads and then also going to areas you haven't discovered yet and then go inside and stuff um it's the best way but like i said that's it chat i'll be back tomorrow 5 30 p.m eastern thank you all for hanging out thank you for the new followers thanks for the new subs youtube is cast as plays twitch is cast as plays tv Join the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live. Every time I do go live, it goes up in there. Um, like I said, 5.30, 5.30 p.m. Eastern tomorrow is about... That's typically when I've been going live, 5.36. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got. So I'll see you all then. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day or night. And, uh, have, yeah, that's it. All right, peace. <laughs>